Lesson 1.3, Place Value, Tens and Ones. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 are digits. We know the value of a digit by its place in a number, by its place value. If we have the digits 1 and 4, we can make 14 or 41. We could put the 1 in the tens place and the 4 in the ones place. We'll have 14, a 10 and 4 ones. If we put the 4 in the tens place and the 1 in the ones place, we'll have 41. We'll have 4 tens and 1 1. They're both alike because they have 1 and 4 as digits, but they're different because the 1 and 4 represent, that means stands for, different values. The tens digit is to the left of the ones digit. In the two digit number 33, there are the same number of tens and ones. We have three tens, that's 30, and we have three ones. That equals 33. We need to circle the value of the red digit. Here we have a two and a seven. The 7 is red. So what's the value of that 7? Is it 70 or 7? Here we have 2 in the tens place and 7 in the ones place. We could also circle the blocks that show the value. We know that this represents 7 ones. The red 7 must represent seven ones. What about this one? Now the four is red. We have four tens and three ones. This four is in the tens place. It represents four tens. That means the red four must represent 40. We need to circle the value of the red digit and the red digit is the zero. We have a six in the tens place and a zero in the ones place. Does the zero represent a 10 or a zero? If you said zero, you're right. It represents zero ones. Here we have a five and a five. And this five on the left is red. Does it represent 50 or five ones? Well, the red five is in the tens place. It's to the left of the ones place. It must represent five tens. That means it represents 50. A riddle is a puzzle. And here we have a riddle. I am a two-digit number. I have the digit eight in my ones place. I have the digit five in my tens place. What number am I? We can use a place value chart to help us. We know it's a two-digit number, so it has a ones and tens. It says I have the digit eight in my ones place. We put an eight in the ones place. Now it says I have the digit five in my tens place. We put a five in the tens place. Now we can see it's the number 58. Mrs. Kim baked loaves of banana bread. The number of bananas she used has the digit one in the tens place and an even number less than four in the ones place. We need to circle all the numbers of bananas Mrs. Kim could have used. It's telling us that there was a one in the tens place. So eight doesn't have a one in the tens place and neither does nine, so we can cross those out. Those aren't the answers. The rest of these numbers do have a one in the tens place, but it says it has an even number less than four in the ones place. Well, 
the ones place is less than 4, it can't be 15 that has a 5 in the ones place or 14 that has a 4 in the ones place. It has to be less than 4. And the digit in the ones place needs to be an even number. 3 is an odd number, so it's not 13. 12 is an even number because the 2 in the ones place is an even number. Remember, even numbers have, when they're two digits or three digits or greater, they'll have an even number in the ones place, and 2 is an even number. 1 is not an even number, so it's not 11. So, it needs to have a 1 in the tens place, 10 does, 12 does, and an even number that is less than 4 in the ones place. The numbers 10 and 12 fit the answer. They have a 1 in the tens place and an even number less than 4 in the ones place. We can draw quick pictures of blocks to represent, that means stand for, numbers. We can make a line like this to make a 10. So if we have three tens, we make three lines. And we can make a little dot for ones. If we have two ones, we make two little dots. We don't want to waste time by making a fancy drawing. Now we need to look at the digits of the number and draw quick pictures of the blocks that represent the numbers. This number has four tens and five ones. We can draw four lines as the four tens. Then we can draw five dots for the five ones. Now we've made a quick picture to represent 45. And we can do it for this one. Now the five is in the tens place and the four is in the ones place. We can draw five lines for the five tens. And we can draw four little dots for the four ones. That's 54. Now we have another riddle. It says, in my number, both digits are odd numbers. The digit in the tens place is less than the digit in the ones place. The sum of my digits is six. What number am I? So we see that both digits are odd numbers, so we think we can list odd numbers. We can make a list of the odd numbers. And it says the digit in the tens place is less than the digit in the ones place. So we know we're going to have a smaller number in the tens place and a greater number in the ones place. It also says the sum of my digits is 6. Which of these odd numbers, when added together, will equal 6? Well, if we add 1 and 3, we're going to get a 4. If we add 1 and 5, we get 6. If we add 1 and 7, we get 8. That's too big. And if we add 3 and 5, we get an 8, and 3 and 7 is a 10. They start getting too big. We just need a 6. It looks like it's a 1 and a 5 that will equal 6. And the digit in the tens place is less than the digit in the ones place. So if we're using 1 and 5, well, then the tens place must be a 1 and the ones place must be a 5, it must be the number 15. If you missed Lesson 1.1 and 1.2 where we learned about even and odd numbers, they're linked in the description so you can go back and watch them. And remember that we can do a quick picture by making lines for tens and dots for ones. Our next lesson, 1.4, is about numbers in expanded form. I hope I'll see you there. I hope you have a wonderful day and hit the like button. Bye.